I'm Paula Nutting, your musculoskeletal specialist, and let's talk more about the core. I want you to be stronger with your abdominals, and I'm going to show you three amazingly good techniques to address obliques, abdominals for sit-ups, and some postural strength. Rosalind's helping me today on co-contractability of the abdominal muscles. So what we're going to do is get her to elevate up. She's working tummy muscles, she's working gluteals and hamstrings and pulling the knees up to the chest as high as you can and then away. Let's focus on keeping no wobble bringing the knees right up to the chest and no wobble on the way out either. We can see her movement is nice and clean. And she's keeping really, really good form here. Make sure that when you're doing this movement, can you go Ross? When you're doing this movement, heels only on the ball, feet nice and relaxed, knees straight, hips up, and please use your arms as support for the upper body, and please again, take care of that neck. This is a great exercise for co-contractability of the abdominal muscles, and also excellent work for the lower leg. Our second exercise is focusing on our rectus abdominis, as our primary mover. And we're using the fit ball to support our lower back and our shoulders. So Roz is in this lovely open position. Her back is being protected and she's actually got her bottom resting against the ball. She's going to engage a contraction by coming up nice and high and then down she goes as low as she can and then up. So she's contracting these abdominal muscles every single time from a nice fully extended position. Be mindful that the hips and the knees are in a straight line and the knees are no more than 90 degrees flexed so we're protecting any pathology that might be going on there and her bottom is staying wedged down nice and squeezing tight on the ball. If you do this exercise, it will engage the abdominals, it'll help turning on the core and help with overall stability of the body. The third activity in our abdominal exercise for this video is one that we're going to focus on our oblique muscles and they're the ones that run diagonally and support our trunk when we twist or when we side bend. Find yourself a lovely comfortable position where you can lie flat with plenty of room for that ball to travel. You're going to start with the beginner's pose which is knees bent and the ankles are going to come to either side of the ball and contract squeezing together with your feet and up they come. The knees are bent and we're going to take the ball from one side of the body and up and over to the other. You see our focus is using the oblique muscles with our shoulders and arms staying nice and flat. You're going to repeat that process about a dozen times. Let's go to that advanced level. So the legs are again nice and wide and the inner thighs are squeezing the ball up and the knees are straight. We're taking the ball over one side and up and you can see by a longer lever it's a much harder exercise to do. Tummy muscles strong, supporting the back, shoulders nice and flat and again if you can put out about 10 of those at a session you'll really feel a good strong workout through your abdominals. Spend as little time as five minutes in your day and you can get all three of those exercises completed with enough time to feel that you've really done some good work to your core and help with full function in obliques, 
rectus abdominis and all those deep transverses. I'm Paula Nutting, your musculoskeletal specialist. Mm -hmm.